Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tonight we're going to be talking the Commodore 64. So long story short, I acquired this the other day and I really had no idea on the setup procedure, how to actually plug it in and get it all working. It is a 35 year old sum machine. And I'm only 33, so this thing was out before I was born. Um, I did a quick video search on YouTube to see whether or not there was anyone who could help inst instruct me on how to set this machine up. And it was basically a bunch of guys talking about their Commodore 64. So uh, tonight I'm going to be running through the ports and switches, showing you guys what does what and how to connect it. And um, that's basically it. So let's get started. I am getting my information from the user's manual that I pulled offline. I'll link that in the description below. Let's begin. We're going to start on the right hand side of the machine. If you take a look here, there's the two controller ports. Fun fact is that you can plug a Sega Genesis controller into these and it'll work. That Originally it was for um, the joystick. This right here is the on off switch. This right here is for the power block which I will show later on in the video. This is where you plug your cartridges in for, you know, any games or peripherals. This right here is your channel selector switch. This is an RF out that connects to an RF modulator that comes with the Commodore 64. We'll talk about this in a minute. This right here is the audio video connector that comes, well, the Commodore 64 doesn't come with the wire, but it... You, you can get it on eBay or whatever. This right here is for... It's a serial port for more peripherals. This is the cassette interface. And this right here is labeled as user port. So that's the Commodore 64. Um, I was watching this video the other night on how to get it all set up because I'm pretty sure my RF modulator is fried. But uh, yeah, this kid on the internet on YouTube said, you know, that you could take a coaxial cable, just a regular TV coax cable, and plug it in the RF modulator switch and then plug that into the coaxial port on your TV and it should work. So I thought it was total BS. Did it? It works. So here's the power brick for the Commodore 64. This is the connector cable. That's what it looks like. It's a goofy looking little guy. And that just plugs in on the right hand side. 